Solve this problem to find the volume. Notice that volume is changing, because we don't know the volume here and there's a new volume here. Molarity is quite likely to change, because you have four here, and this is going to be some molarity. So this is a dilution question. The only thing keeping us back from going straight to the M1V1 equals M2V2 is that we don't have molarity here. So we need molarity first from these numbers. I need to do a conversion sort of problem. Then I'll do a dilution sort of problem. So it's a combo of those two, which is common. So what I'm going to do is mess with this stuff right here in order to get a molarity. So 64% uh, means there's 64 grams for every 100 grams. So 64 grams of HCl for every 100 grams of solution. So this is going backward from the percent mass okay, to get to grams. And then I'm going to use the density. So the density tells us I have 1.1 1.159 kilograms per liter. The density, the thing you'll want to remember is it's a solution density. And if this is 64 grams of HCl for 100 grams of solution, I want this grams to cancel with that kilograms. So I need one more step where I put kilograms per thousand grams. So now my kilograms cancel. My grams of solution that was in the denominator cancels. Now I'm left with liters of solution, which in molarity, I have liters of solutions in the denominator, so that's good. And now I just need to change grams of HCl to moles of HCl. And this is the standard way that you would convert uh, from percent mass, which is a concentration unit, to molarity, which is another concentration unit. And it's 36.46 from the periodic table, grams per mole. This is the molarity, and this happens to be 20.3 molar. And that's for the HCl to start off with. Notice we're going to four in the end. So uh, now we'll use our dilution formula. We're starting off with 20.3 molar. The initial volume, this is what I want to know. So I don't know our initial volume. The final volume, or the final molarity, is 4.0 molar. That was given in the question. And the final volume now was also given in the question. It's 50.0 milliliters. I just plug in and cross multiply to solve for the initial volume. The initial volume, because the final volume is in units of milliliters, the initial volume will be calculated out to milliliters automatically. And we get 9.83 milliliters. Now I forgot who asked that. Was the person okay? You're cool? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. This is combo problem, really common. To be given units, you have to convert to molarity and then do your dilution part.